Okay, this is the all new 2011 Ford Edge Sport. Some of the things you're gonna notice right off the bat is the blacked out grill, along with the HID headlamps with the wrap around, which adds for greater visibility and also adds to a sleek look. They've also changed up the fog lamps. Instead of having the round projection bulb, they've got a bright white LED strip that's not only bright, but looks sleek as well. And something else to cap off the sport model, you've got 22 inch sport wheels. They have silver chrome with the painted inserts, body colored side mirrors that are breakaway, so if you bump into something instead of breaking the mirror, they're gonna fold right in. It's got intelligent access with a push button start, so if the key's in your pocket or purse, as soon as you come up to the door, the vehicle knows the key is on you. Just touch right here on this indention, and it'll allow you to access the vehicle without having to punch in the code. Now you can still leave the vehicle running, hit your last two buttons and lock it up, and then come to the vehicle, punch it in to get in. And going around the vehicle, new for the Edge this year as well, capless fuel filter systems. You may have noticed it on some of the other Ford models, but it is new for the Edge this year. Just pull up to the pump, stick the nozzle in, helps cut back on fuel theft, say I can't get in, and it also cuts back on emissions by 2%. So you're helping the environment and making for an easier fill up. It's got the reverse sensing system, starts activated within six feet of an object when you're backing up. It'll beep and become more of a solid tone the closer you get. Something else they've added. If you notice right underneath here, it's got the backup camera that shows up in the eight inch touch screen LCD screen. And also, they've added the sleek wraparound tail lights as well, LEDs. Last twice as long and they're twice as bright. And this one on the side mirrors, you'll notice there's no blind spot cutout like the other Edge models. And that's because they've got a blind spot indicator system right here. When you're going to change lanes, typically you turn on the blinker, check your side mirrors. If somebody's in your blind spot, there'll be an orange light illuminated right here to let you know that they're on that side of the vehicle. And it also works in conjunction with the cross traffic. When you're backing out of a parking spot, you can't really see down the aisles beside you. It'll let you know that vehicles are coming up to 25 feet away on either side. Let's go ahead and hop in and take a look. And then we'll come back to the outside and get a better look at the cargo area. As you'll notice, 10-way power seating for the driver with memory settings and the access for the cargo, automatic headlamps. Go ahead and hop on in and start. To start the vehicle, it senses the key in your pocket or in your purse. You just press the brake and touch the button to start. It's got memory seating. One of the new things this year are the LCD screens located on either side of the speedometer. You got controls here. You can change your view from showing your fuel gauge and odometer to showing temp, fuel gauge. And the, and the digital tachometer. You can scroll down just from the screen, never taking your hands off the wheel or eyes off the road for only just a few seconds. You can change your trip settings, your fuel economy, and also go through your vehicle settings such as the automatic lock and unlock, and, the, let's see, and also the information center where you can set your my key. And what my key is, it allows you to set the vehicle's top speed limit, make it to where the vehicle can't even have the radio turn on unless the seatbelt's buckled, and also set max volume. So let's say your kids are driving it, you don't want them to blow your speakers. And also it's got cruise control right underneath that set. And to this side, you've got your voice control for the sync system with audio controls, and your right set of arrow buttons here to control the right set of the LCD screen. This controls basic functions of your navigation, entertainment, phone, and climate. You can control, as far as the climate, like I said, basic functions, meaning your temperature and fan speed. For the radio, you can change, change selection here, switch between AM, FM, CD, satellite radio, USB, or SD card. Notice right here on the windshield wipers, it has an auto mode indicated right here. If it's in any one of these buttons, it's got a sensor right up here that senses moisture on the outside of the window and automatically turn on your windshield wipers and it adjusts the speed based on how fast you're going and how much moisture is detected. 
notice the plus here and the minus here. You can drop the vehicle down into the M mode, which is for manual, and you can shift with these sport paddle shifters. Similar on the vehicle sports cars, uh, the Porsche Carrera GT was the first vehicle to have them. But Ford has integrated that same technology to add for it, you know, the sportier feel. The vehicle has a sport name, it should have the sport feel. screen for the My Touch system for the climate and audio. There's no buttons. You actually just barely run your finger across it and it senses not heat or touch, but it senses the natural ele static electricity in your fingers and allows it to touch. Controlling climate, temperature, and some of the basic audio features. in here, my manager's been driving it. Uh, you got the two USB ports and the SD card right there, also with audio visual inputs. So things like DVD players, video games.
nearby fuel prices, ski conditions if you're planning a trip, movie listings to the local movie theater. It picks up over 33,000 movie theaters located in the U.S. and Canada. You get sports info, so in case you miss Sports Center, you can see what the score was, see what the schedule is, and it can monitor up to 10 teams for you. You've got a five-day weather forecast and a weather map, so you basically have a Doppler radar. Microsoft Sync system. You get It's just one touch can be done from the front center stack, the key fob, or a button underneath the back. And this one's got the rubber mat lined across the back. If you notice this button I'm about to press, I'm going to hit the right button, and it's going to let that seat down. It's just like that. And of course, with, he's got the car seat in there, so it's not going to fold flat. And then you can just touch the button here, and it'll close up the back hatch if it senses too much pressure. It'll go right back up, so no need to worry about your kids being in the way. It will stop. And moving on, I'm going to go ahead and move. See how easy that is to move that right back up. Just like that, and you're all done. And this is the 2011 Ford Edge Sport. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.